Hi, in this video I want to talk about setting up basic security for SQL Server Reporting Services um, or SSRS. Um, so there's just always been kind of some confusion on how to set up um, basic security for your individual users to give them access to individual folders. Um, it's pretty easy to just set up an administrator that can get access to everything, but uh, setting up individual users that you only want to allow access to specific items and run reports under those specific folders um, is a little bit more in-depth. So um, first I'm going to put in my uh, my test user here. I'm going to log into um, the reporting portal. And you can see I get that familiar user does not have the required permissions um, error. So um, what you need to do is um, going to log into your main uh, log into your reporting portal as an administrator and you want to give the user access at the home folder level. You don't need to go in and give them access under site settings um, under security as a user. Um, that's not necessary. Um, uh, and if you just go in and add them to the individual folder itself um, you'll get that same error. So you have to go in to the folder in the folder settings and you have to um, I'm just going to give him browser role and he's in the users group um, and then uh, let's go back and then now that's going to give him access to all these individual folders under, underneath um, the home directory um, but that's may, maybe we don't want that. We just want to give them access to the accounting folder. We don't want to give them access to invoicing. So we'll come in here and go to security under the invoices folder and we'll edit the security item and it'll ask um, if we don't want to inherit the security from the parent folder. We'll click OK and then we'll remove that user um, from that home folder. Click OK. Oops. and then go home and now uh, if we go in under the accounting folder it should still be there um, looks like the users aren't there so um, we could revert this back to the home folder and so that it would then um, gain access or um, we're just going to leave it um, with its own security and I'm just going to add users here and test user is in the users group. Click OK. And now if we go back to um, the reporting portal, I should be able to refresh the screen and you can see I see just the accounting folder um, with my balance sheet and my income statement reports and nothing else. Um, one other thing that I want to mention that uh, always throws an error and that gets a lot of people is the data source itself. So um, when they actually go to run the report you're going to want to um, set this data source so that uh, it runs off of SQL authentication so that way you don't have to set up a Windows account um, at the database level. So if you go to manage the data source um, and you put in uh, the actual put in a um, an account, uh, a SQL Server account um, that has access to um, the data that the report needs access to um, and then uh, um, by checking credential stored securely on the report server. Well and you can see I tested that and the connection created su successfully. So you just want to make sure that you uh, set the uh, data source to use SQL authentication um, or you're going to have to go in and add their either their user account uh, to SQL Server to the database or the group that they're in.